Hey guys, Robbie Richards here. In this short video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up and run A-B tests within Thrive Leads. Now, once you've got some forms set up on your site and they're starting to collect some, e some emails and signups and you're starting to grow your list, one of the most important things you can possibly do is to test different variations of those forms to see which convert better. This is the key to increasing your conversion rate and accelerating the growth of your email list and your business. Luckily, Thrive Leads makes this incredibly easy and it provides one of the most powerful A-B testing engines I've seen in any email marketing tool. So let's jump in and take a look at it. Okay, so within our content promotion ebook uh, lead group, we've got our light box pop-up. Now we wanna run an A-B test on this to see if we can increase our conversion rate from 5.45%. Okay, so we'll click edit and we'll come into the form settings, display settings section. And now within here, we have a range of different A-B tests that we can run. We can A-B test different form triggers against each other. We can A-B test different animation types. We can even A-B test different display frequencies to see you know, if people generally react better if the form's shown every time they hit your site or in, only you know shown to them every day or so. You know, there's a different bunch of different ways we can do it. Obviously, we can also A-B test different form designs against each other. Um, you know, th there's just a bunch of different options. But just to show you a quick example, um, one of the cool things uh, that Thrive Leads offers is it allows you to archive all of your different uh, completed tests. So let's just have a look at, say, uh, immediate versus exit intent. So this is an A-B test that I ran a couple months ago, and I wanted to see um, if opt-in forms perform better when they were shown to someone as, as soon as they landed on your page or using exit intent, so showing the form to them when they were about to leave the page. And I'd read a bunch of different studies saying that exit intent would win the, and then a couple others that would said that you, know, you should be more aggressive and show it to people, but I wanted to test this for myself. So I set it up and the results were pretty interesting. The form that displayed immediately on page load had almost a 7% conversion rate. I collected 129 emails in less in about two and a half weeks, uh, just with this content promotion ebook, versus 73 signups and a conversion rate of a little over three and a half percent. So I was able to double, uh, or I was able to actually increase my conversion rate by 91% just by running a simple A-B test around different form triggers. So very, very powerful. That's an extra 56 email subscribers I got using the immediate on page load. So obviously I'm gonna do more of this in the future and grow my list almost twice as fast. Very, very simple. And let's see how I set that up. So we'll come back into the dashboard. Actually, uh, let's just click edit quickly again, come back into the form display settings page. And in order to create an A-B test, all we do is we click this little purple button that says clone and it will do just that, it'll clone the form. And then from here, all we have to do is, so let's just say that I want to A-B test, you know, exit intent. I'll just show you exactly how I set that up. So we'll go exit intent, just so I can clearly differentiate between the two forms. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the trigger button, and then I'm gonna say, okay, I only want to show this to someone when they're about to leave my page. And then you can also set to, if you wanna show it on a mobile device, if so, you set a timer and you just set it, the timing for that. And the reason for this is mobile devices cannot pick up on mouse movement, so you'll need to set a timer for those mobile devices. So for now, just for simplicity, I'm just gonna leave that to none. I'm not gonna show my exit intent on mobile. And then I click save. And now this second form that I set up will only show when people are about to leave the page. I'll leave all the other elements the same, just so we keep it simple. We can clearly see which trigger or what variable is increasing our conversion rate. And then I would just say, start AB test. I'll give it a title. So something like immediate versus exit. Add in some notes. And one cool thing too, is you can have a winner automatically selected. If I enable this, I can set some thresholds. So I need a minimum 100 emails collected, minimum duration, and I need to set my confidence level. Uh, I usually have this at 95% or higher, just so I can get know that my results are really, really reliable. So I'll cancel that out. Uh, so that's all there is to do it that way. Uh, another quick example, let's just say that we wanna A-B test uh, one form design against another. So I would come in here 
and I would click the edit button. And for this example, I want to A-B test and see if a form with uh, the sign up set fields showing immediately performs better or one of the multi-step opt-in templates. So this is my test variant. So now I'll come in, I'll choose opt-in template. Once again, very easy. I'm going to click multi-step. And then for this example, I'm just going to select this one and I'll click here. Um, okay. And then it'll open up. And the cool thing here now is with multi-step is you're at, you're asking someone a question. So typically, and lots of uh, studies have shown this, that when you pose a question to someone, they cannot resist, but engage and answer that question. So, uh, you know, you say, do you want to double your traffic in the next 30 days? Yes, let's make it happen. Or no, I don't like traffic. So there's a little bit of a psychological element in here place because by saying, no, I don't like traffic, it's almost making someone feel a little bit silly by clicking no. Now, what we do now is we come into uh, th the uh, section here, it's called slates. And slate one, this is what people see if they click the yes button. This will be the form that pops up as soon as they click yes. Now I'll click sign up below to receive our exact traffic doubling strategy. And once again, you can add any form elements, edit these, um, the text or the button copy or anything like that just by simply clicking on it and editing. So we're gonna test this one against our uh, original form design so I'll just say save and now I'll exit out of there and I'll come back in and now I have my and actually just because we've changing the form design now we'll just set it back to show on page load just so we're only we're only testing one different uh, variable at a time so now all these different triggers and animations are exactly the same the only difference is this one has the form showing on the first uh, immediately whereas this one they need to click a button and, uh, and then the form will show up. Now we want to test, so we'll just once again, click start AV test, and then we'll just give it a name, start test, actually, we'll just do, um, we'll just do sign up form versus multi-step. Now I know what the test is, I'll go start test, and then instantly that test is live, and then we will come in here and we will be able to see which ones are performing the best. Now that's a very quick high level overview of the how powerful and the A-B testing engine is within Thrive Leads. But before I finish, I just wanna show you one feature of Thrive Leads A-B testing that I haven't seen in any other tool. And that is the ability to test different form types against each other. An example of this might be, okay, so on any of my content, uh, any of my posts that has the content promotion ebook showing, I wanna see if a pop-up, um, performs better than say a slide in and that's a uh, form that will slide in from the bottom of your screen uh, so I'll just go st test different uh, form type give it a title test notes and then um, you know the form type has to actually be live in order for you to test it obviously but once they're set up you just select which ones you want to test once again you can select an automatic winner and then start test and then we're testing different form types against each other on the same post very very powerful feature Okay, so that's a quick high level overview of the AB testing engine. Uh, stay tuned for the next video tutorial and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.